Nice shot, kid. Nice shot, kid. Don't wreck your velvet. Well, it's six o'clock. That was the time we were gonna get out of blind and uh, go look for my big eight pointer. Shot at 20 yards at uh, about 3.30. Another deer out there. I don't know, we gotta wrap this up though. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I just shot my first velvet deer, first double up. When he shot two deer on the ground, that deer was at five yards, six yards. <laughs> I just hard shot him, he just dropped in 20 yards. He's sitting right over there. So, uh, stick with us, because now we got to go find the big boy, and I just got some meat for the freezer and the best hunt of my life, and I just caught it all on film. Uh, Rob, I can't thank you enough, man. Let me, uh, you found this spot, and it is, oh, it's open a day in Connecticut. My big boy was out of velvet. That eight-pointer was in velvet. I said, what's the chances of getting a deer in velvet around here? It's, you it's might have to so, both of them. So, uh... <laughs> 
It's going to be expensive, but I'm just glad I got some meat for the freezer. I got back straps tonight, baby. And uh, I think we might have to have some cold ones. So thanks for filming, dude. Congratulations. We know we got one down. Let's go home and get that bruising. I, I think I got the rust off. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we just uh, took our stuff down, but we just had the blind stuffed in here. We thought about it after to kind of get a picture of uh, the blind when it was actually set up would have been nice, but we just brushed it in. The wind has been absolutely perfect around this hilltop. It's a northwest wind. It's just been consistent. These deers are just feeding on the apples right there. I wasn't going to take another buck, but I never got a velvet buck before. And uh, I mean, the footage was awesome. He came right in. He went five yards, and I just double longed him, and he's sitting right over there. So let's go take a uh, look at my first velvet deer, baby. Keep it rolling too, just to show how far he didn't go. seen a dead deer in velvet, man. Oh, it's awesome. Turn his, turn his head to the side a little bit, just show off that rack. Nice, dude. He's a young got... deer, but out here, I work way too hard. We don't see any deer, and this has been unbelievable. Well, for us, even with the season open on September 15th, you're lucky to catch him in velvet yeah, still. Yeah, still, I mean, he's not even shedding nothing. This is... That's awesome. He's got good genetics, but I couldn't pass him up. The meat in the freezer, he's a beautiful deer. I am pumped. Now we just got to go track my other deer and uh, let this guy sit right here for now, and we'll take if care of him. that other sucker scores Pope and Young, and you got a velvet buck on the same day, you might as well just quit. Yeah, oh, should probably just be my cameraman for the rest of the year. <laughs> I do. I, I owe you one, buddy. Nice job, Check dude. Congrats. That's freaking sweet. That was a sweet shot. Ten yards broadside, no doubt. He wasn't going anywhere. Got him. There he is. Here, let's just, whatever. Yeah. Dude. Jeremy Fontaine. Oh, shit. Look at the mass on that buck. Look at the body on that buck. Look at the hole you punctured in him. Dude. Pick his antlers up. Let's see this. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at that deer. Look at that thing, dude. Oh. He's been dead for a little bit. Yeah. Look at that hole. I Look told you, you smoked him, I dude. just missed his heart. Man. You smoked him. Absolutely tore him a new one. Look at that buck, kid. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, man. That's a freaking big deer. Thank you for taking me here. It's a big deer.